I'm Bryce Allen, Turf Specialist with Syngenta Canada, covering Southwestern Ontario. And I'm Matthew Legg, Head of Technical for SPS Canada. And today we're here in Central Ontario. After a fairly dry spring, we finally got some moisture. But we're starting to see areas that look a little deficient in moisture, looking a little stressed. Maybe it's a lack of moisture, maybe it's other things. Yeah, I, I love bugs. I think to me that looks like we might have a little bit of white grub pressure. So why don't we go over and take a look, see what we find. Sounds like a plan. So we're in this area, kind of parked between two fairways that seem to be getting lots of moisture. Very lush, very happy looking turf. But this area again, not looking too great. Maybe some animal activity, but what's really going on? You're totally on point. It's definitely an anomaly. Irrigation coverage looks great. Surrounding turf looks good. We're seeing a little bit of digging activity from either skunks or raccoons, which is definitely a red flag of something going on below the surface. And we are in central Ontario in late June, which is prototypically a time when we see late larval instars of some white grub pests that we have here in this province. The only real definitive way to understand what it is, is to really just dig in the ground and, and take a look. So let's dig in and see what we can find. As suspected, really dry turf peeled away really easily, telling us that the root system's pretty much non-existent from feeding. And here I have found a healthy, large white grub. Now Matt, there's a few different types of white grubs, chafer, jap beetle, what's the best way to figure out what's what? Great question. A lot of our management's gonna probably be the same regardless of what species it is, but the species is important, especially from a scouting perspective. So the next step that we're gonna do is clean this grub off a little bit, and we're gonna try to look at its raster pattern. The raster is the tail end of the grub and has a definitive marking that'll help us identify what exactly this pest is. So what are we seeing? As I suspected, we do have Japanese beetle. I pulled out my 30 magnification hand lens. I took a look at the raster pattern. I'm seeing a crescent shaped anal slit with a small V raster, which is a telltale sign of Japanese beetle, not European chafer. Now we've learned that this is probably an area that didn't see any insecticide earlier this year. What can we do to approach and tackle this insect? So we're really too far gone with where we're at right now. We're suffering through this, the damage that we're seeing, but it will subside. This pest will pupate, turn into an adult. What we would have liked to have seen is that a preventative larvicide be applied back in the spring that would help against the next generation of this pest that's emerging. We loved having you out today to learn more about turf here in Ontario. Seeing is definitely believing. Getting out and doing some scouting allows us to know what's going on. And I think what we saw today will definitely help some turf managers, not only here in Ontario, but across Canada. Now, if you're looking for a bit more information, where's the best place to go, Matt? Excellent question. We've got our Turfgrass app. We definitely have the greencast.ca website, and then you yourself, a Turfgrass specialist, which we have all the way across Canada to support our clients. Thanks again for joining us today. Hope you learned a few things and feel free to reach out if you have any questions.